At dawn, it's not quite dawn, but with the light streaming in, we're pretty close. We seek God's stabilizing force, Suri, Umiskabi, our safe place. We rise in gratitude to God for the most foundational blessings in our lives. Shasani bit salmo. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Shasani bat chori. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Shasani Yisrael. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Hokeach ivri. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Malvi shami. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Matira suri. Ave o hatarna eloenu melech haolam. Zokev givuvi. Amen. Baruch hatadna eloenu melech haolam. Rukar et ahamai. Ave o hatarna eloenu melech haolam. Hamechin mitzadei gaber. Amen. Baruch hatadna eloenu melech haolam. Shasali kol tzorki. Ame ochatarunai eloheinu melech haolam. 
עוזי סמי גבורה. אמן, ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, מוציא את ישראל בתפארה. אמן, ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, הנותן ליהם פורח. אמן. 
העולם חזור כוכבים לממשלות בלילה אין לעולם חסדות למכה מצרים בבחוריהם אמרי לעולם חסדות ויוצא ישראל מתוכם כי לעולם חסדות ביד חזקה וזרוע נטויה לעולם חסדות את עוזר ים סוף לגזרים כי לעולם חסדות ישראל בתוכו, אוי לעולם חסדו, ונער ברב וחיל וים סוף, אוי לעולם חסדו, למו לחמו במדבר, אוי לעולם חסדו, למקד לאחים גדולים, אוי לעולם חסדו, ויהרוג מלכים אדירים, אוי לעולם חסדו, לסיחון מלך חיים מורי, אילאולם חסדו, לוג מלך הבשן, אילאולם חסדו, נתן ארצם לנחלה, אילאולם חסדו, נחלה לישראל עבדו, אילאולם חסדו, שמש יפלנו זכר לנו, אילאולם חסדו, ויפרקנו מצרינו, אילאולם חסדו, נתן לחם לכל בשר, אילאולם חסדו, אילאולם חסדו, אילאולם חסדו,
גדל והתקדש שמם רבה. אמן. על מה תברך ירותם, ימליך מלכותי, וחייכון ומכון, ובחט לכל בית ישראל. ברא לה בזמן גורי ואמרו, אמן, יש מר רבה מבורך, לעולם עולם ועמיה. יתברך וישתבח ויתפר ודרומה וינזה, ויתתת ויתלב ותלש וניקו ראשון. וריחו. ובחדיו שירת, ושפחתה ונחמתה, תמירן בלמיו ימרו. אמן. ב-149, we take a bow of humility for the bar hu. בר hu את אדוני המבורך. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך את אדוני. הנה מלך העולם יוצר אור ובוא יושב. עושה שלום ועד הכור. Bina, 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 Bina,
Israel. 
ואבך, היום על לבביך, ושינת על בניך, ודיברת בם, ושבתך בביתך, ולכתך בדרך, ושובך וקומך. וקשרתם לאות עייתך, ולתות אפו בין עיניך, וכתבתם, המזיזות ביתך, ובישריך. ושמו קיים וכיסו נכון ומלאכותו ואמונתו לאט היה מת. אמת שאת אדוני אלוהינו ודאי אבותינו ואמותינו מלכינו מלך אבותינו ואמותינו גולדנו כל אבותינו ואמותינו יוצא נשאו לשבותינו ופודנו ומאזינו ולא משנך אין אלוהים זו ולתך עזרת אבותינו ואמותינו תאום בעולם together and face Yerushalayim, 159 to 161 together, the rest is done silently. Abraham Joshua Heschel once said, the way a Jew should daven and pray, especially the Amidah, is with the head down slightly in humility before God, the greatness of God, but with heart up, a sense of gratitude and openness and giving up one's heart to the Holy One. So with head slightly bowed and heart up high, we dive in the Amidah 159 to 161 together. The rest is done silently. <laughs> Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Yisrael, Elohe Rimga, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Yisrael, Elohe Yisrael, Elohe Yisrael, Elohe Yisrael, Elohe Yisrael, Elohe Yisrael, El
167. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> In Kadoshu, 
Shalom, everyone. Good to see everybody. We are so excited to be here. Special Shabbat, Parshat Naso. You can open up your Chumashim um, uh, to page 805, chapter 7, verse 1. We're in the book of Numbers, fourth of the five books of the, of the, of the Torah, of course. And as Rabbi Jenny mentioned before, there are different subjects in the beginning of the Parsha, dealing with the Nazarite, dealing with some of the counting and lifting up the, the face. Naso means to lift up the face as well as uh, when we establish the Mishkan, our portable sanctuary in the desert, and kind of the princes and different gifts that were given. That's the part we're going to read here as well. But perhaps most famously in this parsha is the blessing of Birkat HaKohanim, the blessing of peace and shalom for thousands of years. And scholars tell us it's the most ancient part of the entire Torah. So we're excited to read this parsha, especially a special Shabbat. We have a special Ufruf, a few special people here. We're so glad to have with us all our guests in Hevra, coming from Florida, New Jersey, and all the great places in the country, and our regulars. So we begin here our first Aliyah, chapter 7, verse 1, page 805. We got Evan. Be'azor v'agim v'shikosim bo'vin amar amein ha'kol havu gode alelo hinu kavod la Torah yamod yitzchak bander ben baruch havari ha'kohin umirol l'aliyah rishona baruch shatan t'wana mo'isto b'shato v'atem atpikim adonai Eloichem chayuhem ayom Sayaka <laughs> Make <laughs> Leave <laughs> Nasi Echad, 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 Nasi
Oh, so you're the second one here? No, no, no. Okay. Second last, so verse 12, page 8.06. <laughs> Shekel with Shekel of Kodesh, 
Shnehem Elohim, so let we love Hashem and Limicha Kafahad Asarazahav Leo Kitarek Parechad Dembakaha Ayelechad Kevazecha Bencherto Leo Laha Sirizimecha Lechatat Of Zeva Hashlami Bakashnahi Eilim Hamisha to Dim Hamisha Kevasim Beneshana Hamisha Zet Korban Elia Bechelon Bayom Harvi Nasim Livne Ruvain Elitzor Bench Deor Korbano Kara Kesafahad Shoshim Umea Mishkala Mizrak Echad Kesef Shivim Shekel Vashekel Akodesh Shnehem Milayim So let Lulav Hashem and Limicha Kafachat Asara Zahav Leo Ketorek Parechad Bembakad Ayelechad Kevesecha Ben Shirato Leolah Sirizim Echad Lechatat Ol Zevach Hashlamim Bakar Shnaim Eilim Chamisha Atudim Chamisha Kevesim Bnei Shana Chamisha Zeh Korban Elitzor Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher natal lanu Torah de'met, v'chaye olam natah betochenu, Baruch atah Adonai, notein atah Amen. Mazal tov, tov, you shit. Mazal tov, the parents of the chatan. Tov, we now continue now with our fourth aliyah, verse 36, page 808, special. Yamod, 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 hechatan. Yehuda, Melech, Ben, Sukadov, Rivka, Ita, Ali, Ad, Rivi, E, to the groom. Verse 36, page 808, special Aliyah for his Ufro. Baruch Ata Nai Hamborach. Baruch Anai Hamborach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Anai Hamborach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Nai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Baruch Avinu Mikol Amim. V'Natan Lanu Etor Etor. Baruch Ata Nai Natan Etor. Amen. Amen. Bayom hachamishi nasi liv nei shimon shlumiel ben tuish adai korbano kara kasef achad shloshim umeah mishkala misra kechad kasef shivim shekel v'shekel akadosh shnehem milayim. So let lulav Hashem and limicha kafachat asara zahav melea kitorek parechad ben bakar ayelechad kevazecha ben shirato liolah sirizim echad lechatat ol zevach hashlamim bakar shnayim Eilim chamisha ha'atudim chamisha kevasim b'nei shana chamisha zeh korban shlumiel ben tuisha dai bayom hashishi nasi livnei gad el yasaf ben dueho korbano kara kesef achat shoshim umeya mishkala ha Mizrak echad kesef shivim shekel v'shekel hakodesh shneihem melehim so let lula v'ashem elimicha kafachad asara zahav melea kitorek parechad dembakar ayil echad kevazecha ben shato liyallah Sirizim echad lechatat Ol zevach hashlamim Bakar shnaim Eilim chamisha Tudim chamisha Kevasim b'nei shana chamisha Ze korban el yasav Ben duwech Baruch atah Adonai, Elohe 
I might all to please rise here, bring a vite our chatan and our kala to come join us here, as well as our rav hasheni. Shalom liora. Good to see you guys. You can face everybody else so we can see you guys. Can you guys see? Okay. Um, Jared and Ligar, we are so incredibly happy for you. We are like bursting with joy and with gladness. Um, Jared, I feel like just yesterday your bar mitzvah was here on this bima. <laughs> Jared, or if you look around, there's probably some preschool pictures somewhere hanging around here in the shul. <laughs> this guy, I talk about, we could say Ben Bai, like literally grew up in the house of the shul. This is the Dimizwiki family. Um, we are so blessed to have you here. It's a special moment to celebrate this before your upcoming wedding. I know it's in a few months, um, but truly a blessing to be together. And this Parsha, very special, uh, it's called Nasso, and we described a little bit about it, but one of the things, is called, it's a census at the beginning, and a very interesting phrase of what is used for census, Nasso. Nasso literally means to lift up the head. So back in ancient Israel, the way we used to count people is we'd, add, we'd have them maybe looking like this, and you'd have them lift their head, and you count them one by one. That was the old way they counted. But more spiritually, um, the powerful idea is that one is recognized and paid attention to, and that they are seen when their head is lifted up high. And you know, marriage and finding the one that you love and finding that connection is such a blessing. It is, you know, as God said, it could be as hard as splitting the sea of reeds to find the person that opens your heart and makes it feel whole. And in the course of your life, there will be so many joys together and celebrations and mazel tovs like this one. But even those more challenging times that inevitably happen to all of us, you can look at each other and say, Nasso, you know, lift up your head, sweetie, you know. I'm there for you. You can help lift it up together. And every, all of us deserve an opportunity for the blessing of someone to be by our side when things are challenging to say, hey, together, we'll lift up our heads. So it's perfect, Parsha. Mm-hmm. We're all brought together. And I'll just add um, that Birkat Konim, as Rabbi Eric said, is in this Parsha, which is so special and so beautiful. Um, that this amazing thing that we experience God's blessing not necessarily as some um, divine, you know, moment of showering down of blessing, but we experience God's blessing through each other, mm-hmm. through people. That the Kwanim represented for us, you know, a channel. But um, in your lives, you will be that channel for each other to experience you know, just the divine flow of goodness and of light and of peace, um, and that when the world feels difficult or hard, um, that you can continue to give that to one another. Yeah. That's really God manifesting um, in your love and in your life. Amen. So, Amen. Um, at this moment... Exactly. We invite all of everyone to close their eyes for a moment to offer a special tefillah and prayer in their heart for this amazing couple, the Chatan and Kala. <laughs> what you wish for them and their joy together, and then we'll offer them beer katakon. Bless you and keep you. Yeah, <laughs> 
Okay, okay, put the tissues away for a second. There we go. All right, so where were we now? The fifth aliyah, okay, verse 48, page 809. Yamod Shlomo ben Eliezer Miriam, Nalia Hachamishit. So we're in verse 48, page 809. Now our sixth aliyah, we continue now on verse 60, page 809, this comes as Leonard comes forward, I invite all to please rise this time for Misha Berach, for Cholim. Yamod, Yona Daniel, Ben Avram, Vasara, Lalia, Hashishi. So before we offer this Aliyah, I invite a quiet time now as I pause in the midst of this prayer to offer the names quietly of those who you are praying for who are in need of healing. Misha Berach, Avotenu, Avram Itzak, Vakov, Vimotenu, Serif Karachel, Valea, Huivarech, Vrape, Etachonim. Akadosh Baruch Hu Imli Rachamim Aleihem Lachzikam Rapotam Veishlach Lehem Rafua Shlema Mina Shemaim Mufat Nefesh Fat Aguf Batoch Shacholim Chazek Yedei Hoskim Betzachehem Shabbat Im Nizok Rufa Krovad Vosh Tabaglav Izman Kariv Avanomar Amen 
May the Holy One bless their ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bring blessing and healing to all those we pray for. May the Holy One mercifully restore them to health and vigor, granting them spiritual and physical well-being, together with all others who are ill. And may God grant strength to those who tend to them. Though Shabbat is a time to refrain from crying out, we had hope and pray that healing is at hand, and let us say together. Amen. 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 Sixth Aliyah, verse 60, page 809. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvarah. Baruch Hu Barak Leolam Vaed. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvarah Leolam Vaed. Baruch Hu et Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Bakar Banu Mekohamim. Benatan Lanu et Torato, Baruka Tadanai, Notena Torah. Amen. Amen. Bayom Hatishi, Nasi, leave me, me, I mean, Avidan, Begidoni, Corbano, Harakasavahan, Shoshim, Umea, Mishkala. Mizra <laughs> Sirizim <laughs> Korbanokarakasafahar <laughs> Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher natalanu Torah emet, vekaye olam natah bektoteinu, Baruch atah Adonai, notein Torah. Amen. Shekoch Leonard. I'm just going to say briefly, some of you have had a chance to meet Leonard. He's come down as a, with a special internship, if I'm correct, mm -hmm. right? From the best university in the country, as far as I'm concerned. He came from Maryland, down here, all right? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't recruit. He came down on his own, on his own, uh, for the summer internship working at, at a newspaper, yes. right? The Carolina the Journal. Journal, exactly. And uh, it's also his birthday coming up, so we're special Aliyah for his birthday. And we just wanted to say, first of all, happy birthday. Thank you. We are so blessed that you're part of our, you came be part of our communities for the summer. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe when you get your job eventually, you can come on down here yeah. eventually more permanently. <laughs> Marylanders have a history of coming down here and, you know, getting jobs. Um, <laughs> But I really just want to wish you every blessing in this new year. You know, every, every new year for a person is a chance to kind of like an opportunity to reflect back on the past 
and what's in the future. And Leonard, just seeing your soul and seeing your neshama here at the, the shul, you have so much promise and so many blessings to give in the future. We are so, just know you're always home here, and we hope you'll come back and be a part of this, not just this summer, but God willing, for many birthdays in the future. Thank mazel tov, mazel tov, mazel tov. Okay. So, all right, we now turn to our seventh aliyah, verse 72, page 810. Yamod. Another graduate here. Look at this. All right. Yisrael Yoshua ben Yehuda Daniel Rachel Yaspa Laliashvit. For who are the Nahum Baruch? Baruch and Abraham Leolam Vahed. Baruch and Nahum Baruch and Lam Vahed. Baruch and Nahum Baruch Shloshimu mea mishkala misrachehad kesef shivim shekel the shekel hakodesh nehem shnehem lehim solet blue lava shemen the mincha kafahat asarasahav malaya kitoret farhehad ben bakor. Ah, he lehad, kebasehad, ben shenato, lehola, series him a hard lehatahat, Moseva hashlamim, bakar, shenahim, ailing him, hamisha, to team, hamisha, kebasim, benesha, na, hamisha, sack, or ban, pagihel, ben hofran. Be yom shenei masar yom nasi Livnei naftali achira ben heinan Korbano karat kesef achat Shloshim humeha mishkalaha Mizrach echad kesef shivim shekel The shekel hakodesh nehem lehim So let blue lava shemen lamin ha ha Kahafahat as a raza hav, Maleha kitoret, Farhehad ben bakor, Ailehad, Kebesehad ben shenato, Leholaha, Sirisim echad lehatahat, Moseva hashlamim bakar, Shenahim, Ailim hamisha, Hatutim hamisha, Kibasim benesha na hamisha. Korban Achira ben Heinan Zot Hanukkah Tamiz Be'ah Be'yom Imashah Choto Me'et Nesiei Yisrael Kaharot Kesef Shetem Hesrei Mizrake Kesef Shenei Masor Kapot Zahav Shetem Hesrei Shloshim Humeah Agarachot Kesef Shivim hamizrak hahechad kol kesef hakelim hapayim bar ba mehot the shekel hakodesh kapot zahav shetei masrei melehot ketoret asara asara akaf the shekel hakodesh kol zahav hakapot esrim umeah kol habakar lahola shenei masher parim. Elihim shnei masor, kibasihim bnei shana, shnei masor, umin chataham, usi rehisim shnei masor lechatahat. Vechol bakar sevachash lamim, hesrim bar bahal, parim, elihim shishim aturim shishim. Kivasim bnei shana shishim zot Hanukkah tamis peyach acharei mashachoto uvavo Moshe elo hel mohei l'daber hito vayishma hetakol mitaber helav 
Maybe seated after Aliyah. Oh, yeah, 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 almost there. It's okay. It's almost. Just hang, hang around, hang around. It's okay. Don't go away. Yamor, Yaakov Moshe ben Yahweh Rachelea, Lamaftir. So verse 87, page 811. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamavorah. Baruch Adonai Hamavorah Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamavorah Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Barchar Banu Mikol HaAmim. Venatan Lanu et Torah To Baruch Atad Anai Notein HaTorah Amen Amen Kol HaBakar LaHolaha Shneim Asher Parim Ein Lihim Shnei Masar Kvasim Bnei Shana Shnei Masar Min Chatam Lusi Reisim Shnei Masar Lachatat Behold, Bakar Sevachashlamim, Esrim Barbahim, Elim Shishim, Achutim Shishim, Kibasim, Veneshana, Shishim, Zotanukata Mispeach, Maharehim Ashachotom, Uvavo Moshe, Elohel Mohe, Zada Berito, Vaishma Hetako. we now rise and lift and dress the Sefer Torah. Yamod. Asher Malachi ben Avram Vassara Magmiya. Tamu. Chana Bat Ruven Vachava. Hagolelet. Vezot HaTorah. Asher Samoshe. Place down, you may be seated. Page 813, the Haftarah from the Prophet, from the Judges, from the Book of Judges. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Bin Vim Tovim Veratzav Divrehem 
Hanemarim Bemet Baruchata Adonai Habocher Batora Uv Moshe Abdo Uv Yisrael Amo Uvin Vie Ha Emet Bat Sedek Vai he ish a hard mitzora Mimish pachat hadani ushmo manoach ve ish to a caravillo yalada Vaye rama la hadanai el ha isha Vayomere leha Hine na et akara velo ya ladit viharit via ladit behain viata hishamrina altishti yain ve shechar vial tochili kolta mehe ki he nahara vio ladit bain umora lo ya ale al rosho kinesir elohim yehye ha na armin ha baten vehu ya hel lehoshia et yisrael mi yad pilishtim Vatavo ha isha, vatomer le isha, le mohor isha Elohim, ba elahai, umar ehu, kimare, malacha Elohim no ra me od. Velo shil tihu, emi zehu, vet shemolo higid lihi. Vayo homer li, he nah harav violad it bain. Veata altish ti, yayan vishechar, ve altocheli kol tuma. Kinezir Elohim ihye hanar min ha beten ad yomoto. Vayet har manoach el adonai vayomahar. Vihi adonai isha Elohim asher shalachta. Yavo na ode lenu, vio renu, ma na asela na ar hayulahad. Vaishma ha Elohim viko ma noach, vayavo malach ha Elohim od el haisha. Vehi yoshevet basadef, uma noach isha ain imaha. Vatama her ha isha, vataratz vatagel isha, vatomer elahav, he ne near a elai ha ish, asher ba vayom elahai. Vayakom vayelech manoach achare ishto, vayavo el haish, vayomer lo haata haish, asher di barta el haisha, vayomer anihi. Vayomer manoach. Ataya voho de vareha, mayih ye he mishpat hana ar uma sehu. Vayo mer malach adonai el manoach mikol. 
Asher ar Marta el haisha tisha meher mi kol asher yetse mi gefen hayin lo tochal veyain veshechar al tehesht v'chol tuma al tochal kol asher tsiviti hatish mohor. Vayomer ma noach el malach Adonai Nitzra na haotach V'naaseh lefanecha gidi izihim Vayomer malach Adonai El ma noach Im tatsireni lo ochal bilach mecha, ve im taase olaha, lado nai taalena, ki lo yada manoach, ki malach adonai hu. Vayomer manoach. El malach Adonai mihi shemecha ki avo devarecha vechidvad nucha vayomer lo malach Adonai lama zeti shalish mi vehu feli vayikach manoach. Et gedi ha izim ve et hamin ha va ya al ha al la donai u mafeli la asohot u manoach ve ish toro i ve vayhi va alot halav me al hamis beach hashamayma. Vaya al malach adonai belahav hamiz beach umanoach beish toro im. Vayi pelu al penehem art saha velo yasaf od malach adonai lehera o el manoach vel ish to. Ah, has yada amanoach, kimalach adonai hu. Vayomer manoach, el ishto mohot namut, ki Elohim ra'inu. Fatomer lo ishto lu. Hafetz Adonai lahamitenu lo lakach miadenu ola umincha velo her anu et kol ele vechayet lo hishmi anu kazohot vateled haisha behen. Vatikra et shemo shihim shon vayigda al hanar vayvarechehu adonai vatachel ruach adonai lepaamo bemachane dan vein zora u vein eshta ohol. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Tzur kol ha'olamihim Tzadik v'chol ha'darot Ha'el ha'neeman ha'omer ve'oseh Ha'medaber umkayehim She'kol divarav emet v'atzedek Ne'eman atahu adonai Eloheinu Ve'ne'emanim divarecha Vidavar echad mi devarecha, achor lo yashuv reikam, ki el melech ne'eman verachaman ata, baruch atadonai.
Ha'el ha'ne'eman bechol divaraha Amen. Rachem al tzion kichi bechayenu v'la'aluvat nefesh toshia v'im heravi amenu baruch atah adonai Moshimu Nesameach tzion divanech Amen. Samechenu adonai loheinu v'eliyahu hanavi avdecha uv'machut beit david mishiecha Bim heraya vo via geli benu Alki solo yeshev zar velo yin chalu od achirim et kivodo Kiv shem kod shechanish batalo Shelo yech benero leolam vaed Baruch ata adonai Magen davihim Al haTorah v'al haAvodah v'al haNeviim v'al Yom haShabbat hazeh Shenatata lanu adonai Eloheinu likdushav limnucha lechavod ulatifaret Al haKol adonai Eloheinu anachnu modim lach umvarachim otach yit barachim chabefikol chay tamid leolam vaed. Baruch atah Adonai Yaakov Moshe. We now rise together to return the Sefer Torah to the Ark. I invite those honored to do so to come to the Bima. Page 183, we take a moment before returning the Sefer Torah to offer personal prayers for peace and shalom in all places in the world, in Israel, in our own country. Uh, in all places. So, quiet time for personal prayers for peace. Shalom 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 Hare 
everyone. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Great to see our regular chavre and all our special honorees and guests. Our custom, of course, is to study a little Torah. Oh, so so uh, I took a little rabbinic privilege. Um, we just had the holiday of Shavuot, where we celebrate the giving of the Torah. And I had done extra preparation for Shavuot, and I prepared an extra of our Torah that I never had a chance to teach on Shavuot. So I said, you know what? I'm going to bring it to the Shabbos after Shavuot, right? So even though the Torah portion is not so, and it deals with the census and various things, I'm going it, to, it's all the Torah, I figure, right? So I figure, I'm going to one more teaching about the Torah itself, about the giving of the Torah on Mount Sinai, which I think has lessons in leadership. I was very touched by. I also thought maybe a little bit also connected to our Ufruf couple as well. I, thought I, would, I, I figured also dedicate to them too. Maybe also some, some marriage and relationship dynamics there too. I thought I would dedicate to them too. So we're going to get into, we're going to walk away from the Parsha for a second to go back to the moment of receiving the Torah on Mount Sinai. And it's even though the Charlton Heston version or the Prince of Egypt version makes it look all simple and clear, those of us who've read the section Exodus 20 carefully know it's not so like one thing that there's a lot of in-between dialogue that happens between God and Moses and the people and Aaron before the Torah is actually given. So all I do is just read this section, and I've bolded here some very interesting repeated phrase that comes up of three times in one paragraph, which is the Torah's way of saying, pay attention to this here. It's like an exclamation point. Something needs to be emphasized here. And I want to get into why is this phrase emphasized at the time of the highlight moment of our history, the giving of the Torah on Mount Sinai. So first, like if someone would be willing to read at the top paragraph in English, which is now Mount Sinai, Exodus 19, 18, and Evan Horowitz can be our Runner, he's going to go run to you. Those that are willing to speak into the microphone, please. So, who'd like to read? All right, Steve Sheriff Akasha. Evan will come to you and bring the mic over, and he'll speak into the mic. Now Mount Sinai. Now Mount Sinai was all in smoke, for Adonai had come down upon it in fire. The smoke rose like the smoke of a kill, and the whole mountain trembled violently. The blare of the horn grew louder and louder. As Moshe spoke, God answered him in thunder. Hmm. Adonai came down upon Mount Sinai and on the top of the mountain, and Adonai called Moshe to the top of the mountain, and Moshe went up. Adonai said to Moshe, go down. Warn the people not to break through to Adonai to gaze lest many of them perish. The priests also who came near Adonai must stay pure, lest Adonai break out against them. But Moshe said to Adonai, the people cannot come up to Mount Sinai, for, for, for you, your, you warned, that's a mistake. For you, you warned. warned us already, saying, set bounds about the mountain and sanctify it. So Adonai said to him, go down and come back together with Aaron. But let not the priests or the people break through to come up to Adonai, lest God break out against them. And Moshe went down to the people and spoke to them. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Shekoch. Okay. So obviously I emphasize this issue of going down, right? What is the problem? Just be clear. What is Moses' question to God in this paragraph? What's going on? Moses is on Mount Sinai. Moses is having this amazing moment. There's trembling. There's fire. There's thunder. There's uh, the moment. And God says, before you receive the Torah, what do I want you to do? I want you to go down. And Moses' response is? I already did it. Yes, someone, the lawyer was listening. All right. Says, Wait a second. No, I already told them, or you already told them, that the people know not to come up here. Why do I have to go back down there? I like being up here with the thunder and the lightning and the fun. Why do I have to go down there again and tell them again what you already told them? But in the end, you know, Moses, when he's told to jump, he says, how high, right? So in the end, he does go down. But it's a tension here. Moses is like, why do I have to go down and be with the people when you already told the people what to do? So the question is, why in this moment of spiritual highlight, and remember it says here like the Mount Sinai is so tall, but God came down to the mountains, kind of emphasizing that God is like even bigger than Mount Sinai. Why does God want Moses in this amazing high spiritual moment to go down and emphasizing going down to the people especially the people that have been warned 
but God's worried they're going to make a mistake again. King, wouldn't you think Moses, he'd say, Moses, you know what? You're off the hook. Just enjoy this moment with me and hang out. Why does Moses have to go down? So that's the big kind of theological or spiritual question. Why in moments of highlight is Moses supposed to go down? Any thoughts about that before you? All right, Robin has an idea in general. What, why is Moses forced to go down? All right, let's hear it. I, maybe it's also a reminder to Moshe that he is part of the people down there. You're fit. So first of all, Moshe, you're part of the people. I think it's an excellent point. Don't get caught up here in your head about what's going on up here. You're fit. Other thoughts about this over here? Yehuda Daniel. That's what he says. The Zadie. I think it's a bit of a leadership lesson, right, that Adonai is giving to uh, Moshe to lead from the front and is a bit of authentic leadership. So mm -hmm. the, if you're kind of up on top here, you're not really leading. So you need to, as I said before, you know, be with the people, but lead from the front and yeah, see you as authentic. Spoken from true life practice. I'm totally, I, I get exactly. What is, I mean, instead of leading by going down. If you lose touch with what's going on on the ground, then are you really leading? You have to lead with the people, not just lead, you know, too far ahead, I guess, a sense, or too far away. You have to be in touch with what the people are up to. It's an excellent point. For all leaders, you're fit. Deborah, what do you say? Or, or Deborah, Pilar. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Pilar, I didn't see your hand. Very Go ahead, Pilar. Book a shot. <laughs> um, I think it, it's on the same um, page. It's kind of a grounding situation for him to mm -hmm. touch bases with what it's down there. Yes. And he mentioned three times down, so he actually wants him to go down. It's like when you have a wedding and you're in this moment of joy, you Aha. break the glass. Yeah. <laughs> after the exity, there's a, there's a book that I saw, after the ecstasy, the laundry, right? Okay, after this amazing moment, there's got to do the dishes afterwards. All right, cool. Let's see, Deborah, what do you say? Um, it makes me, th I, I think that's all true, I, but I also think that leaders tend to be removed. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of have to be. And you have to think a lot of yourself if you feel like you're going to be able to lead. Now, Moshe was picked by God, but anyway, um, <laughs> to be a leader. And it reminds me, what, what I thought of when I read this was back in 1968, 100 years ago, um, when Robert Kennedy was running for president. He was running on a ticket of, you know, compassion and working with the poor and so on and so forth. But he was a rich man's son. Mm -hmm. And he talked about the transformative experience he had when he went to Appalachia. And he saw a level of poverty they had never seen and had no idea existed in this country. Mm -hmm. And it changed his life, and it changed who he was, and it changed how he thought about poverty and about what people needed, and it changed his platform. Mm -hmm. And I think that God is saying to Moshe, you got to go down there. you got to see what's happening in the world. you got to be with the people and understand. It's, it's a question of empathy and understand what their, what their daily struggle is. You can't stand up there and say, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. You, do this. you really have to be down there in the mud with the people and understand I think it's so profound on a gut what level what's it's going it. on. I just wanted to say, in the rabbinate, what I, what I usually relate this to, and it's, it's, it's people say to me, say, Rabbi, what's the hardest, I'm sure the worst part of your job is funerals and sickness and people that are in, in difficulty. And what I say back is, of course, it's very painful. I don't enjoy being that. That's not the hardest part, because the truth of the matter is when I'm engaging with someone, and sadly in our school in recent months, we've had way too much of this, very painful losses in our community in recent months. Um, it's, a, it's a grounding reminder. Every time I go to the cemetery, you know, and I love, I mean, our cemetery, it sounds funny, but I really love our cemetery. It's a beautiful, beautiful, kind, loving, compassionate space. But it's extraordinarily stark. It's a place of sadness. It's a place of, of tragedy at, at, at times, many times. So, but it, it's like, I get the, I, might, I guess I call it the privilege to go there and I remember like, am I living the life I wanna be living? Am I living up to the standard of these people that are, that are sadly here? It, is it, it, it's a grounding place. I don't wanna go there a lot, it's not pleasant, but it's grounding, and I actually consider it a privilege to be in that place. And so when you mentioned Robert Kennedy, like, to be with people who are suffering is painful, it, but it's also life awakening. It raises the, the blinds off your life. Am I doing things the way I should be doing them? And what, am I going the direction I want to be doing? And how do I want to lead, by the way? Do I want to, how do I lead in a way that's clear? I think it's very powerful. So I'd say it's not the worst. In fact, I think it's some of the most like, profound work one can do is seeing people in their struggle or suffering or challenge. In fact, you fit. Okay, Dan, what do you say? I think it's also uh, recognizing the human nature of people, 
they've griped, they've complained on their journey from Egypt to Mount Sinai, exactly. the building of the golden calf. Yeah. And it's basically saying, look, not everybody's going to believe you. You've got to go back down here and reemphasize to the again and again. I want to just say, Dan, you're making a great point. The people are messing up, and on some level, Moses is saying, what? The people are not going to go against your wishes. But So God's saying, yes, people will go against my wishes. In fact, maybe, Moses, you're, quote, unquote, a good boy. Okay, you won't do it. But a lot of people will, and because you don't understand that, who here read The Chosen? Who read The Chosen? Come on. Do you remember what the whole point of Chosen? Who remembers? There's the Rebbe, and he's gonna, he wants to raise his son to be the leader after him. If you haven't seen it, go watch the movie. Robbie Benson does a good job. It's been forever. Gewalt. He does a very nice job. And the reason his son cannot succeed him as a rabbi of his community in this Brooklyn neighborhood, of why? Do you remember what he lacks? He's incredibly smart. He's charismatic. He has all that. He's like a Talmudic genius, and he's a great teacher, but he lacks compassion. He can't understand why not everyone follows the commandments and mitzvahs clearly. Why can't everyone just do it? It's obvious how to live a good life. And his dad says to him, you don't understand. Most people, it's very hard. And you need compassion in order to be a great leader, to understand how people struggle in life. Even if you personally don't struggle as much, which itself is a question, right? But even if you don't see it, other people do. So get off your high horse and go down, he basically says to him, and go down with the people and learn what it's like to struggle. So the golden calf is not good, but it's reality. Most of humanity wants golden calves. Okay, come on, I got to see more people here. All right, I'm firing people up. We got Sherry and Mike and, uh, and uh, sorry, Rose, Maksha. Yeah, I think that an another thing that I was thinking about that connects it to today is that uh, Moshe is, um, a, me is a messenger. Mm -hmm. he, he's a leader, but his leadership is really um, coming through, uh, through the message of God. In other words, he's... This yeah. is not him saying, you do this. Right. He is actually the messenger mm. of mm. God's message. Yes. And He's so not, how do you think, so then when he says go down here, you think, what do you, how does that add to Well, the I think that what that means is it's reminding the people that this is not Moshe telling you what to do. Got it. This it is comes from a higher source. This comes from a higher source, and it's a higher source of, of being, what kind of beings we are supposed to be in terms of moral questions. Yes. So it's not just me, Moshe, making these demands upon you or, or commandments. This yes. is not me. This is a message coming from God. Yes, yes. Yefe, yefe, Okay, Mike and Sherry Rose, okay. Uh, to me, it looks like there's something fluid happening. Thing, things are not uh, consistent throughout mm -hmm. this uh, paragraph here. Yes. First, uh, it's, it says the priests also who come near Adonai must stay pure. Mm -hmm. Well, then, then uh, there's the statement, uh, don't let the priests come up here, mm -hmm. uh, only Aaron. Yes. Uh, so there, there's a, some kind of change, and the reason Moses has to go down is actually the situation's not stable down there mm. and and uh, it, even though he sort of gave them warning you know don't come they're they're disobeying him already before you know th when the right or there's a risk of disobeying gone. but yes exactly yes exactly already there's a risk yeah. and i want to say it's come back with sherry i think it's also touching what you're saying as well moses can't understand first of all why someone would disobey god right it's as if it's like you can't get it and the second of all, it's like Moses, God's saying, Moses, your job is not just to give a message up to everyone that agrees with you. <laughs> your job is to send my message to those that find it difficult and don't like hearing it. I think it's a very profound point, Sherry. Go down there to people that are not going to like the message. And maybe, by the way, are going to pin it on you when you're really just reflecting what's come to you. You need to go out and be with the people where it's complicated and it's going to be hard. I think it's powerful. It's, it's not consistent. It is a complex text. You're fair. You're fair. You're right, Mike. All right, Sarah Rose Bakasha. I was also thinking of Moshe as a messenger in this case, and um, God understands that it doesn't go so hot when God's direct presence is in front of the people. That's true, too. Yes. And so Moshe is yeah. coming down from this height of experience, mm -hmm. and God gets to use Moshe in that way and just, like, blast it out from Moshe. He just has to be there. In, in the midst of the people and, and maybe experience a little bit of godliness. So God can't be directly there, but God can 
move through Moshe just in his presence. Yefe, 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 yefe. Okay, we got a couple last ones. I see Kathy and I'll be back here in a... Yefe. Um, this, the, the phrase go down is actually um, also from an earlier story, which is the Tower of Babel. Yes. When God yes. said, there's all this stuff going on and God says, I'm going to go down and yes, see what's correct. going on. Mm-hmm. And if, if some people talk about the book of Genesis as being like, God growing into parenthood, mm-hmm. right? Like there's a lot of changes. In May how Berman loves that read. May I people. always says that. I've heard it many times from May right. Berman. So, yeah. you know, in that instance, God went down, saw they were doing all sorts of stuff that they weren't supposed to be doing and had to take care of it himself. Right. There, you know, there's still, even though God wants, I think, he, God, I think God wants humans to be able to reach to a higher spiritual plane. I think he really still wants there to be a little bit of separation. Mm. And in this instance, he's like, okay, Moses, you know, learn from my experience. Sometimes you have to go down, <laughs> right, a level and see where they're coming from Yefe. just to kind of keep everything under wraps. Under wraps. I think it's your fit. It's like both God has to come down and Moses has to learn from the teacher, like, so to speak. Yes, come. It's Judy, right, Judy? Yes, please, Jabba Kasha. Can. The other thing is that it's being repeated. Mm-hmm. Just because you say something once <laughs> doesn't mean anybody got it. <laughs> You have to repeat it and Anyone repeat that works for children understands it. that 100%. You know, I know exactly what you're saying. You can't just say once, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. These and it works for the rules. adults understand that too, by the way. It's profound. Exactly. And then, the, yeah. you know, like you say, if Moses is with them, then he'll understand. And then they will accept it better. If he'll do it, then I'll do it. Yes. Don't just stand there telling me what to do. Mm. Get in the trenches with us and yes. do it together. Exactly. Leadership through the trenches. I love it. Yes, all right, last one from Steve, and we're going to look at it here. I'm seeing an issue of inclusion in the experience. Uh, and this, this mm. is a parallel in the Haftarah. You know, Manoach says, oh, I hope this guy comes back. I, I want to see him myself. Mm. But his excuse is, oh, I, I wanted more instructions. And when the, when the messenger comes back, he says, yeah, what I told her already. Yes. Uh, similarly here, uh, Moses says, yeah, I told them already. Right? Yeah. But no. God says, you've got to include those people in the experience. Keep going back and forth so they don't feel left out. Yes. Uh, they, they need to see it as close as they can, even if they can't come up here on the mountain themselves. Mm. Uh, and indeed, the next time around, when Moses disappears for 40 days, they have a crisis of confidence and, and build a golden calf uh, because they, they didn't feel that, that personal inclusion in the experience. Yeah, fair. I just want to say that I think and I'm going to now going to I'm going to wrap because we just we basically covered the commentary at the bottom here. So I'm just going to wrap it here and say because you did such an amazing job. But I say this, this leadership thing, which I think is like so powerful, is that you have to, to be a real leader. You both have to be somewhat away from the group. You have to think beyond the group. You have to be ahead in a certain way. You have to have a vision. But if you're so far ahead that you're not part of it and you've lost touch of what's on the ground, they won't follow you, and you'll be unsuccessful. Like, you have to be lead from the front, lead in the trenches, be in touch with the actual people, know what's actually going. It's profound. Now, I want to come back, though, and say in the context of sacred relationships, too, okay? Because I think they're part of going down. It's like a little bit like this idea of going, go down to be, go realize how humanity works, is what the commentary says here. Go look in and see that some people aren't going to follow. It's part of what, you know, being in a sacred relationship is about, is about someone who walks you on a journey and sees you both in your public life, but also in the part of yourself that, you know, maybe either you're not the most proud of or the part of you that you've never done a lot of self-reflection about because no one's really thought about, you know, the fact that you didn't put the toilet seat up or down because when you're single, it didn't matter so much. But when you're married, okay, I better, better be sensitive. I never really thought about it. So one of the stories I like to tell, I, I mean, this is like, I remember back from the days, Jenny doesn't even know it's coming, but the old story is that we were first married and we were, as our first, Second apart, our second year of marriage. We're in New York. <laughs> ah, so we went to her apartment, and, and we're in Upper West Side in this very nice small apartment. And my parents came to visit us for the first time in New York. And my mother, after coming in, I mean, my mother's struggling today, so I, I keep her my prayers. But at that time, she was not struggling at all. And she walks in with a couple of inches, seeing my mom. She goes into the kitchen, that's my mother's way, and she started rearranging certain parts of our... Ah! And Jenny looked at me like there's fire coming out of her face. Like, what is your mother doing to her? She's taking the things out of the thing. And I'm like, 
This is what my mother does all the time when she visits me. She comes in, she collects my kitchen. It's always messed up. It's messy. I don't have things. She tells me what I need to buy. Blah, blah. I mean, this is like my mom. This is like the M.O. of my mother. She's like, your mother's got to get out of her kitchen or I'm going to kill her. <laughs> it was so funny. And I realized, I was like, oh, my God. Like, wow. First, it wasn't funny in the moment. The moment was complicated. But I realized, like, wow, I never really reflected. I guess my mother shouldn't be going through my closet anymore at age 27 or whatever. But that, I don't, re how do I know this? I only know this when someone goes down, you know, into my, and it says, Eric, a little feedback for you. I was like, I oh, developed, okay, I got, mom, not okay. You gotta ask permission at least, okay, to go into the closet of our, uh, not the, the pantry, okay? And I just use a small example to say like, you know, by going down into one's details of one's life, you have to say, do some self-reflection. Wow, and that's just one small example, you know, thinking about finances or thinking about one's vision for one's career or thinking about how one deals with struggle and complexity or family relationships. You know, when you're, someone that comes to you and gets down into it with you and helps you to see, like, wow, there's something you need to reflect on a little more deeply about that. That only happens by going down into the details, like a nitty-gritty enforcing some reflection. By the way, it happens just it happens through marital relationships, it happens with good friends as well. People that come to you and, and love you enough to say, look, I care about you. Are you sure this is the right decision? Because I, I'm going down into the details of your life. I'm going down inside of your soul because I care about you. I love you. I'm going to look at you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you. You know, hopefully help you. That's the point, is to help you. So I hope this to say is that Moses has to go down. He can't just live in the high and uppity, you know, lovey-dovey, blah, 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 ecstasy. He's, he's got to go down and really look inside of himself and, and take the feedback and be reflective. That's ultimately how we grow, not only as leaders, but as partners and as ultimately, God willing, as, as good people. All right, Yeshua Koach, Kodak We pass our text over to the middle. And we now rise together for Chatsi Kaddish, page 184. Rabbi Jenny leads us in the Musaf Davin. So everybody place our feet together, we face the ark, 185 to 187 together, rest is unsigned. Adonai sefatai tifta uviya vitehinatecha Aruch ata Adonai Eloheinu 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 Oh, 
כדל ואית כדל שמי רבה, מהבה דברי אחרי ותיב ים נכמן חוטא, בחיי חנון במכון, ובחיי תכול בישראל, בעגלה ובזמן קרי ואם ירו, אמן יהיה שמי רבה מברך, להעלה מולד מהבעיה, יתברך, יתברך וישתבח, ויתפאר ותרומה ונעשה, ותדעת ויתלה ותלה על שמי נקודש אבריכו, לילה מכל ברכתה ושירתה, תוש ברכתה ונחמתה, דאמירן בעמה ואם ירו, אמן, יתקבץ לאותן ואותן נכון ישראל, קדם אבו לנו ושמי ואם ירו, אמן, יהא שלם הרב משמיא, וחיים לנו בכל ישראל ואם ירו, אמן, עושה שלום עם רומא, הוא יעשה שלום, עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל, ואם ירו, אמן. אין כאלוהינו, אין כאדוננו, אין כמלכנו, אין כמושיענו, נום כמו אסטרוליו, נום כמו אסטרוסניור, נום כמו אסטרוסניור, נום כמו אסטרוסלוודור. מי כאלוהינו, מי כאדוננו, מי כמלכנו, מי כמושיענו. כן כמו אסטרוליו, כן כמו אסטרוסניור, כן כמו אסטרורי, כן כמו אסטרוסלוודור. נוד אל אלוהינו, נוד אל אדוננו, נוד אל מלכנו, נוד אל משיענו, לא רמוס מוסטרוביו, לא רמוס מוסטרוסניו, לא רמוס מוסטרורי, לא רמוס מוסטרוסלוודור. ברוך אלוהינו, ברוך אדוננו, ברוך מלכנו, ברוך מושיענו, בן דישום אסטרוליו, בן דישום אסטרוסניור, בן דישום אסטרורי, בן דישום אסטרוסלוודור. אתה הוא אלוהינו, אתה הוא אדוננו, אתה הוא מלכנו, אתה הוא מושיענו. Tu es mon estrogeur, tu es mon estrogeur, tu es mon estrogeur, tu es mon estrogeur, Salvador. Alléluia, le Shabbat, la non, la col, la tête, la liberté, le régime, chez l'Oazano, qui est à la sorte. ולא זמנו כי משפחות האדמה שלא שם חלקנו כהם וגאול עלינו ככל המונם ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא הכתוב בתורתך אדוני ימלוך לעולם בעת בנבחרי אדוני המלך הכוהרי Kaddish, Kaddish Yatom, invite those in mourning or observing a yard site this Shabbat Naso to rise, page 207. Yit Gadal v'yit Kaddash, Amen, Rabbah. Amen. V'yalma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute b'chai echon v'yom echon v'chai v'chol v'yit Yisrael ba'agala v'yizman kari v'yimru. Amen. Yehe shmei Rabbah v'vorach le'olam v'mei almaya. יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמי דקודשה וריחו לילה מנקו ברכתה ושירתה תוש בחתה ונחמתה נאמירן בעלמה ואמרו אמן יהא שלמה רבה מן שמיה וחיים עלינו והכל ישראל ואמרו אמן עושה שלום במרומה הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ועל כל יושבי תבל, ואמרו, אמן. שבת שלום, מי בסידד, מי בית אבן הורוויץ, אפר נאסמוס. שבת שלום. שלום. First and foremost, מזל טוב to the Dimzewiki family on the Ufruf today, and thank you for the honoring and hosting the Kiddush luncheon today. 
Um, most announcements are on the bulletin in the back, but a few to point out. Everyone is invited to participate in purchasing the conservative movement's new high holiday mahzareem. The goal is 700 plus new mahzareem by the fall of 2020. Forms are in the lobby or you can order online. Uh, Summer Book Club is ongoing. Social Action is sponsoring a letter writing event on June 30th. And just a reminder of the weekly services, menu on Wednesday at 7 p.m., Sunday morning at 9 a.m., and Friday night service at 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, friendly reminder on Beth Meyer campus, no electronics, cell phones, et cetera, on campus during Shabbat. Thank you to everyone who participated this morning and the Torah readers. And before you go, please return your Sidor to the proper place, and you can take the bulletins and drop them off in the back as you leave. Thank you, and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shabbat. Shabbat. Any other announcements that I missed? Anyone in particular? <laughs> Good job. Yeah, I just want to um, sort of remind everybody that we do have a social action program online June 30th. Um, we're hosting a letter writing for start writing late emails, and then our regular work phone calling um, events. We support films and legislation, but we support the Congress and the federal legislation regarding threats and abuse. Awesome. Okay. So now we do the embarrassed people and make them introduce themselves moment, okay? Can we have some guests here, special for the Ofra? All right. I guess I'm, Ms. Wickes, tell us who's here. Who's here, who's here visiting you guys? We guys stand up so we can see you guys? You got, okay, okay. This is. Awesome. Awesome. So good to see. Fantastic. We're where? Okay, Leora. <laughs> And who's over here? <laughs> remember I remember him vaguely. <laughs> awesome, man. We're so glad to see you. Welcome, guys. Good, so good to see you guys again. Mazel tov again to you guys. All right, just behind you is a gentleman I don't recognize. Can you just tell us who you are? And stand up where you're from? Um, I'm actually a camera. I'm from Jerusalem. Oh. Like, maybe my friend. Uh, I'm not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, then. My bad. All right. We'll talk. We'll talk. Tov. Anyone else here who's visiting or guests or newish that can, uh, can yes, please, ma'am, in the back, please tell, rise and tell us who you are. Oh, where are you coming from? Yes! <laughs> Leonard, we can talk. We're talking. All right, we'll talk to you. Hey, Betty, let's talk. Awesome. <laughs> We're glad to have you. Welcome. Glad to have you. So, Stephanie, from awesome. Where in Maryland are you from? Which city? Okay, cool. All right, we won't hold it against you. It's all right. All right. <laughs> we, we've, I've heard of it once. It's all right. <laughs> awesome. All right, anybody else who is newing or visiting or newish? I want to get someone else. I thought I saw some other people. No? Nobody else? That's it? No? Okay. All right. Well, it's good to see everybody. Welcome. We're going to wrap it up here with the Don Olam, page 211. Okay,
a ti. Adonai, 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 Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Hamotzi lehem min aret. Shabbat shalom, social hall for Kiddush. Shabbat shalom, mazel tov, all the mazel tovs. Mazel tov.